good morning. Uh, my name is Steven Schmitz. I'm a co one of the co-presidents of ATP. And I want to welcome each and every one of you to this global transpersonal symposium being hosted by Sophia University and ATP. I want to thank you all for coming. I was going to thank you all for coming out on a cold, rainy winter day, but the sun came out. It doesn't surprise me that the sun came out. I just want to give you a little bit of background on the symposium. The symposium started as a joke. And what I mean by that is I'm also a board secretary of Euritas, and at a board meeting last summer in Paris, the board was discussing where to have the next board meeting. And I, as a joke, said, how about California? because they're usually throughout Europe, obviously. Well, all the boards said yes, much to my surprise. So, in having all the Eritas board members here, I thought it'd be a good idea to do some kind of an event so that the people here that don't get a chance to go to Europe very often or go to the Eritas conference could meet these wonderful people that I've had the pleasure of meeting since my first Eritas conference presentation back in 2006. So in talking with Vladimir Mykov, who is here tonight, today, will be one of the speakers on the panel, at the Eurotas conference in Moldova, we said, why don't we do a symposium, a one-day one. And so we put, the, put some ideas together and we have a symposium. We were very fortunate to have both Stan Groff and Jim Fadiman agree to come as keynotes. And in the afternoon, if you saw the program, will also be panels made up of board members from ATP, Eurotas, and ITA. And unlike most boards, this board, these boards are made up all of transpersonal psychologists. So it won't be a lot of business people getting up talking about transpersonal. The theme of this symposium is unity within diversity. And as Glenn Hartilius said last night at his book signing, the field of transpersonal psychology is extremely diverse. We don't have like one single theory or one single founder or one single dogma. We have a variety of different approaches and modalities that are being used in a variety of different ways. And I think there's a real beauty in that, in this diversity. The thing that I see in going in Europe and also with my international workshops that I do around the world, there is also a sense of unity within this diversity. And that's one of the things that we're really trying to show in this symposium today. This is the first time that the three big transpersonal associations, ATP, Yotas, and ITA, are actively collaborating to do an event, this event here. I also wanted to bring some of the excitement that I bring back every time I go to Europe, and especially when I go to Russia. And with having the Eurotas board here, we thought it'd be great to have several panels so you can actually hear what these people are doing with transpersonal psychology in various parts of the world. This transpersonal psychology is not just something in the Bay Area. It's not a small little movement. It's all over the world. And what I've seen in the different countries I've gone to, it's very vital and it's growing all over the world. So I want to bring that excitement here today also. This year, 2014, I think will be a very magical year for the transpersonal field. We have this symposium here, which is a collaborative effect, um, effort with three transpersonal associations. There is also, in October this year, Eurotas Conference will be in Crete, in Greece. And will also be a collaborative effort with ATP, Eurotas, ITA, working with the National Transpersonal 
Association Synthesis in Greece to put on a conference. There's also a collaborative effort happening in 2015. Alibrat, which is the national, one of the national transpersonal associations down in Brazil, is putting on a large global conference in September of 2015, which is also a collaborative effort with ATP, Eratos, and ITA. And you may wonder, why do I keep making a big deal out of it? Well, the big deal is this is the first time we've all come together in a collaborative effort to work together to promote the field. So I see that this is a big thing. Um, I'm also, as co-president of ATP, wanting to remind you that the Association for Transpersonal Psychology, which started back in 1971, and one, some of the co-founders, Stan Groff and Jim Fadman, are with us today. And this, this association has grown quite a bit over the last 40 plus years. This year we're going through a, a revival. We're going to be putting out another newsletter very soon. We're putting on this symposium. We're also we're going to be working with Sophia to bring certain trainings and salons to work with the students here. So I see there's a lot that's, that's happening right now. ATP is the local professional organization that supports everybody within the transpersonal field students, alumni, graduates, and the professionals that are working. So as co-president, I just want to say that I also would like to have your support in growing this association. So if you notice, there are some membership forms around. I just want to end with a short thing from our brochure. And as we move into the 21st century, ATP is dedicating itself to promoting a vision of the universe as sacred. To this end, ATP encourages spiritual democracy, rigorous inquiry into the multiplicity of techniques, disciplines, and methods of exploring personal spirituality and traditional cultural practices, and, recognize, and recognition of how the sacred is embedded in all experience. And I think that's one of the things that I find very important about transpersonal psychology and one of the things that attracted me to the field back in the early 70s was this not only acknowledgement but the study and practice and the education of the sacred within human nature. So thank you very much and I would like to present Bernadette Blinn who is the president of Utah. So this was, you know, the first uh, uh, jump, official jump in the transpersonal uh, field here. And of course, for me, uh, as I often said, California was like, you know, uh, my second homeland. It, because this is where I, I was born as a transpersonal uh, psychotherapist. So this was the starting point of you know, uh, a very uh, exciting and very uh, involved path in this transpersonal world uh, in France, because this is where I'm coming from, and in Europe. But if someone has told me 25 years ago, I would be here <coughs> speaking in front of you, in front of the founders and in front of the transpersonal community in this university, I would never have been in. 
And uh, on this path, with many, many adventures, I did my best to uh, try to get uh, different kind of recognition or to establish the transpersonal psychotherapy and psycho psycho uh, psychology in France and contribute and work with my friend at the urban level. So, Haya, we had some success and also some troubles. And uh, today, uh, or I mean, at the end of last year, I've been elected as president of Eurotas. So this is why I'm here to to present this uh, European Association today. And uh, it's 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 magical, you know, that uh, you are listening to these European people with uh, their. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if I should say discoveries or what, what we have to bring here too. Because of course, um, the, this Eurotas Association has been founded in 1984. And I, w I was not born in the transpersonal movement at that time. I was just, uh, you know, doing my things in a transpersonal, transpersonal way, but I, I didn't recognize myself as transpersonal. And um, at the beginning, and for a while, as it always, I mean, all, very often happened in Europe, we have this kind of inferiority complex, because everything in the transpersonal ideas, vision, uh, books, and so on, came from you, I mean, from <coughs> America, from abroad. And we just try, you know, to, to invite many uh, founders, many many uh, authors, many professionals coming and, and training us. <coughs> and um, of course, there is this tendency in Europe that when we look at how things are going here in America and for uh, the transpersonal uh, thing, especially in California, we all often say that we are 20 years delayed. And you are from you, I mean, we, we, we are in the position you were 25, 20 years ago or 15 years ago. And that's true for the transpersonal too. But as things uh, went on, you know, I think as transpersonal people, we had this, uh, at the beginning, this kind of inferiority complex in front of you. But we grew, and I think we are more mature today. And we come here with uh, I mean, we don't want to bring you something special, but we want some exchange with you. And what I can uh, tell you uh, in Eurotas, which at the beginning was more or less, uh, as the elders said, a group of friends with different national associations. Uh, now the structure of Eurotas is very different. Is I mean, uh, we have much many more participants, uh, members, and we are in a, a, a different time where it's getting, what we could say, more professional. Uh, especially for, you know, psychotherapists and psychologists. But we have also an artistic art therapy uh, department, research department. So we are really getting more uh, structures and more actions uh, and, <coughs> and all connected. And, um, I would like also in, in front of you to thank this board because uh, it's a real, really passionate, uh, um, they are really passionate, we are really passionate people and sometimes we fight a little bit but you know, we, 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 we know where we want to go and, and we are a group and we try to keep the unity and I think that the result we can see today is really encouraging. So. I don't know what we can uh, bring here, but probably uh, this fresh uh, air, this uh, vitality that uh, exists in Europe at the moment. And, uh, and we are still very honored that, uh, you know, you're there and we are there and we can uh, do something together. This is a, what I could say uh, the first uh, historical event, and then in Crete uh, in October, it will be a real uh, uh, historical event <coughs> with ITA, with ATP, 
uh, with synthesis in Greece and with Eurotas. And we all need to collaborate and to do our best, you know, to, to really make a change in this world. And we have a lot of something to do. Thank you. And I hope we all will have a good day. <laughs> Lancaster, currently president of the International Transpersonal Association, ITA, <coughs> and uh, it's great to be here, wonderful to see you here, and uh, I don't want to simply repeat what's already been said, we've got more important things to get on with, <coughs> but I would say <coughs> that there is something in the air. You know, Stephen said, and, and uh, Bernadette also, it's special that we have these different organizations. Sometimes I wonder, why do we have so many organizations? But we do. And uh, so let's, let's get together, and that's what's happened. And certainly, uh, the initiative that Stephen has shown, uh, and so thank you to Stephen, because it's always a challenge to put these things together. So uh, thanks where it's due and others who work together as well. So wearing my ITA hat to say that it's, it's wonderful that, that that energy is now going into being collaborative, working together. That's like I say, there is something in the air and uh, came a long way. I come from the UK. It came a long way to be here. And it's always good to be here. You know, Glenn Martelius and Harris Friedman put together this wonderful book, the, uh, the Handbook <coughs> of Transpersonal Psychology. And there are some other similar kind of works in press at the moment. And it is indicative of a kind of new thrust. And I think when you look at it, any any organism, any being, you know, that's what happens. You have something begins and it, it runs through a course and then there are these little moments that come along. Something new, some new impetus. And I thought for a long time that that's what transpersonal psychology needs. Exactly the shape of that new impetus, that new initiative, well, we're going to have panels later, we've got these uh, keynotes, maybe it'll come out through that. Or maybe it won't. Maybe there's something which is still in a kind of germinal phase. But it is so important to work together. And again, already mentioned the events which will follow uh, with, the, with my ITA hat. Of course I'm a European, but I'm a global person. We're all these. Uh, with, with the ITA hat on, um, the, the conference coming up this year in Crete. Um, before that, our, our, our friends in Albrat, which Steve mentioned, um, there's a pre-conference event this year, uh, 30th and 31st of May, which will it'll be in, in Brazil, and that we're hoping there'll be some kind of video link set up, so watch this space, and working towards Okay, it's even mentioned next year, September, 4th, 7th of September 2015, a, 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 another global conference in, 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 based around Sao Paulo. So, yes, it's great to be here and it's very exciting to be part of something moving forward. But I thought when I was sitting there and uh, the microphone was beckoning and I would have to say a few words. And I was hearing, you know, like Bernadette saying about uh, being out here in California and so much happened here in California. It's true and it's very important that the roots go so far back. And then, so I was thinking about the choice that, Stephen, you made, uh, unity within diversity. Great, and of course, yes, we're different organizations and transpersonal has so many faces when we come together, but that phrase has such a long-standing <coughs> presence 
And it so much goes to the core of what I think we're about. So I can quote my countryman, Coleridge, talking about the beautiful, talking about the sublime, talking, and he, he talks about multiety within unity, <clears throat> unity in multiplicity. Uh, from a philosophical and an aesthetic perspective, but really he was bringing forward very long-standing traditions about, about the spiritual. And uh, my own roots are Judaism, I'm interested in, 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 in Kabbalah and Jewish mysticism, absolute central tenet about the, the diversity we experience around us, the richness of life in that diversity, ultimately comes to a unity through a fundamental pattern we might call archetypes. And it's discerning those patterns that really is the nature of that mystical or even spiritual work. And I think that, that that approach, which is seeped in those roots that we all kind of bring one way or another, it's making connection to those very, very long-standing approaches that really is what is the work of us as transpersonal psychologists. I won't say more about that now, because I think something will come out in the panels later, that it was just <coughs> musing on the title that had been chosen. Yes, in the first place, it's the diverse organizations and diverse strands in the transpersonal coming together, finding unity. But that resonance, you may have had in mind, or maybe it's just there at a deeper level. That resonance with long-standing traditions is very, very important. Enjoy the day. Thank you. <laughs> So next I'd like to invite uh, Vladimir Mykov, the president of the Russian Tran Association for Transpersonal Psychology and Psychotherapy to come up and introduce our um, keynote speaker, Stan Groff. <clears throat> 